just sitting down eating a little bit of breakfast. Didn't cook today, so I'm getting ready to go out and do some grocery shopping. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So we're gonna have a nice day, full day, and trying to get things done today as much as possible. So yeah, just eating a, a egg biscuit and some bow rounds. The little hash browns, they're really good. And my husband got me a little coffee. So, um, yeah. So we're gonna go out, get a couple of things done, run a few errands, come around to the house. I have some things to do in the house, some cleaning to do, um, uh, you know, and some things to check on and take care of definitely in the garden today. So I'll be looking around at the store today to try to get some more things I need for trellising. The tomatoes need to um, be, be taken care of. I have definitely been neglecting them where I haven't gotten them all trellised yet. So shame on me for that. So I'll definitely get that done today as well. Um, the rain has stopped, but we are supposed to get some more rain today. Um, so hopefully I can get out there before it starts raining again and get those tasks done because everything is like drooping and laying down. So we need to take care of that ASAP. So let's do it. you guys I lost a diamond in my ring one of the diamonds came out and it was so funny I had someone comment in the comment section about me wearing my ring um, while I garden and I try to be mindful of of that so I'll take it off you know and just wear the band while I'm gardening but sometimes I forget you know and I'll be out there gardening or, or when it's time for me to shoot like a video or something like that I'll still have it on and I'm you know not thinking about it much but I don't know if working in it caused damage to it or what but it did not come out in the garden but anyway I'll tell you it, it was something else I lost my diamond and marine that's my story and um, hopefully I get it replaced soon but we're gonna head to Aldi and we're gonna head to Home Depot and I might just stop by Pikes, you guys, because it's the weekend and they're always having nice sales there at Pikes, so we're gonna see what they have too. All right guys, we made it to Pikes. So we're gonna go inside and see what they have in the store and hopefully they have some really cool sales going on right now. I don't know because I didn't really check my email so I have the slightest idea. I'm still eating all my breakfast too. It's crazy. Let's go in. But I did see, I saw something down in here that I was interested in. Not too sure which one it is, but I'll keep one, which I think is this one. Might get that one. Right, guys so I just finished with Aldi I just had to pick up a few things I think I'm gonna do my major grocery shopping next week so yeah this is just picking up a few things now I'm gonna hit up Home Depot and I'm gonna see what they have and if they have the post I'm looking for and you know I always check out the garden center I'm just actually park in the garden center and go straight through that way and check out that way so let's go in and see what they have mm, found some steaks all right guys so i found i got four like steaks that i'm gonna use um to string up the tomatoes and i got them for 89 cent each because they were in the 70 percent off bin so i think that'll work for now i don't want to use the um what do you call them the 
Oh gosh, what do you call those posts? They're, they're metal posts and they're really strong, but once you sink those things in the ground, you cannot get them out without a tool. I cannot think of the name of it. I'm just doing a temporary type of solution for now. All right, so last stop because it's getting late. It's about two o'clock now and I gotta get back home so to the family, but I'm gonna go in here to Walmart and of course I go through the garden center and I check out through the garden center. That's pretty much where I stay, but I'm gonna go in there and see what they have because a lot of times you can find some really good things on clearance in Walmart garden center. Um, or on sale just catch some stuff so let's go in there and let's see what they have really quick okay it was kind of like breezy at first earlier this morning but now that it's getting a little later it's getting warmer and it's like humid and I have on this sweater oh my gosh but I only put it on because it was supposed to rain and I didn't want to get caught out here in the rain guys I'm finished and it is raining and I did not see anything I needed in Walmart they didn't have what I was looking for but I did come out with seeds oh my gosh you guys I am a sucker for seeds I am a seed hoarder I need to cut it out but I'm trying to create like this um, sunflower border um, from on my fence area just as a screen kind of like from neighbor to neighbor and so I thought it would be neat if I could grow sunflowers on the left and right side of the garden. So anyway, that's what I'm trying to do. And I am specifically looking for, I'm, not, I'm specifically looking for a certain type of sunflower because all sunflowers don't, you know, grow the same. So I'm looking for my favorite sunflower, cheaply, the Lemon Clank Queen. And they had it, they got this one, these little packs right here. This is a border mix, so it has a lot of the branching sunflowers in it that I grow. Um, mahogany orange, ivory golden yellow, bicolor, autumn beauty, vanilla ice, and lemon queen, and the evening sun. Boom! That's all I needed for 50 cent. I'm good to go. <laughs> I'm good to grow, okay? I did find a different morning glory variety, which is the um, pearly gates. We all need to get through the pearly gates, right? So I had to get that because I am creating a white garden on my deck. And oh gosh, I don't, I didn't need any more, but I did find a um, polka dot mixed bachelor button. Um, these will bloom in time, so I'm going to plant those in hopefully today. But it's raining. Let me get home. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh you guys I'm back home but I just I just saw my notifications come up it's nothing in the back it's nothing in the back son come around this way we'll see you inside as I got my steaks in hand and my um, rubber mallet I'm gonna go ahead and get the um, get this trellis up but you guys I'm nervous out here it's a snake in the garden it's a snake in the garden y'all and um oh gosh i'm like you know within like another month this whole garden is gonna start getting a bit thick in here i have got to get that snake out of here um but i will try to see i'm gonna try to insert some footage you know this was this is um yesterday when i came out here and i was planting those green beans. I'm nervous. I don't like being out here with this snake. But I'm gonna hurry up. Y'all hang on.
Time for a little dinner harvest. I'm gonna harvest some Swiss chard for dinners for the salad and some sorrel back there. I love chopping up the sorrel with the Swiss chard. It is absolutely delicious. And I have a little romaine in there as well. So delish, delish, delish. I had someone ask me, what does the sorrel taste like? It is, it has a lemon flavor. It's a lemony, zesty flavor. It's in between like a lettuce or a spinachy, um, kind of kale in between that but it's absolutely delicious and that little zest of that burst of lemon flavor that's what really sets it apart and I have a different variety over here that I recently acquired from my mother those that soil back there I grew from seed but this one right here she gave me as a transplant let me show you this one right here this is the red one and it's just getting going um it's, it's really it's doing really well transplanted really well so i'm looking forward to that and after the rain i'm sure these herbs will just spring back up and then i'll maybe after they bloom and they're bringing in beneficial insects so that's why i wanted them to bloom but then after they do i'm going to cut them back all right so i'm just going to go ahead and harvest some of the Swiss chart for dinner and it's going to be so good and I have, look at that slug, got to get them off but definitely I grabbed up some of that celery over there, I'm going to chop some of that celery up in there as well thought that would be pretty tasty so, I'm going to get in here and get these bigger leaves in here too. Ooh, sorrel is so good. Cooked, raw, so good. My kids love it. If the kids love it, you know it's good. So don't forget to eat what you grow, guys. Get out there and harvest your food and eat it. So that's it for today guys. I'm going to continue to um, put the post in for these tomatoes that I have here. I really appreciate you joining me today. I hope you had a lot of fun and enjoyed the vlog. So yeah, remember, if you want to grow something beautiful in your life, plant the seed. And we'll see you next time. Bye.